Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Tim. My name's Vinyl, your friendly neighborhood vinyl guy. I actually sound better, so, you know, it is what it is. I kind of feel like crap because, you know, it's Florida, it's allergy season, so it means it started now and it'll run through October. Kind of with our rainy season, so. Anyway, um, philosophies on record collecting. I see it, I want to buy it. I wish it were that simple because my wish list is ridiculous. But, um, I mean, I've talked about it before. I'm an old DJ. Um, some of it's, you know, the way I collect is, is kind of sporadic. It's all over the place because I listen to so many genres. Um, I don't try to pigeonhole to first pressings or types of pressings i mean to each their own i mean I'm, you collect how you collect um you know and i think sometimes we all make those mistakes of maybe buying a a placeholder copy when it's just a, sometimes a waste or buying too much or whatever the case may be so i think it's always a a fine-tuning process for me as far as what i want um there are certain staples like hendrix you know, we, we've talked about that ad nauseum here before. I'm a Hendrix guy, so I'm always going to look. Um, I try to avoid multiple pressings of 99.9% .9 of the stuff outside of Hendrix. Because if I'm upgrading, am I ever going to want to play that downgraded copy? Or is there something about that one that is making me want to hold on to it and usually no there's a couple instances where i might but for the most part i'm a i'm a one pressing kind of guy and reissues don't bother me especially with some of the the old psych or jazz or stuff like that i mean some of that stuff for original presses is like six seven hundred dollars or even worse so and i get it the argument is it's not you know it's digitally sourced and the same thing else but Ultimately, it's what sounds good to your ear. Uh, I collect CDs. I collect vinyl. Vinyl, I'll collect 7 inches, 12 inches albums. Um, my main focus... Sorry, I just realized that I have dirt on my hands. and That's gross. Um, my main focus on 12 inches is hip-hop, but also I will delve into dance and stuff like that. Um singles it's just my approach on singles is really weird because even if I have the album and the 45 may not have anything specific it may be a nostalgia thing for me like I may associate that to having on a 7 inch or I may be putting together something to say hey I have this really cool 7 inch stuff because I mean if I'm being honest I would love to get, be able to get some sort of DJ equipment back not like ridiculous amount but you know mixer a couple turntables something that I would feel comfortable with just for tooling around for me and giving me that creative outlet um, and being able to do things like hey this is an all 7 inch mix and be able to say hey I got that on 7 inch or something like that that's kind of the, the old DJ in me um so it you know it's it it's a battle it's like do i really need that on seven inch because i have the album probably not but sometimes the ones take over so um when it comes to albums you know some of that stuff i really i mean i would love to have everything on vinyl some of it's just priced out of the market um a lot of the hip-hop that I like does didn't get pressed and if it did it sounds kind of bad so I don't mind picking up CDs um, you know there's a lot of things I mean my wife loves CDs so she listens to them in the car it's easier for her to you know she she likes music but it's you know the the flipping of an album she'd rather just press the button and go and I can't fault that you know um, and they totally sound fine for her so I mean picking up CDs is, is a very easy thing for us and let's face it right now they're cheaper than vinyl so um, 
you know, I have no problem picking up CDs. I have no problem looking at CDs. It's funny, too, because it's like there's a lot of um, shows, uno unofficials, radio broadcasts, bootlegs, however you want to call them. I'd rather have that kind of stuff on CD because the vinyl is probably going to sound a little worse. Um, and that's a lot of stuff I wouldn't even mind. I don't even mind downloading and, and putting to a disc myself because, I mean, A, it's, it's a bootleg. It's meant to be traded, not sold. But... You know, when you're recording something from an audience, it's not going to sound great. So why would you want to spend 40 bucks on it? So, um, but I do, but then I got some vinyl in my collection. So, um, but anyway, let me give you a quick look of the room proper. Uh, and then we'll come back and, and wrap things up. So here's one of the sections of the collection. Bunch of CDs. They are completely and utterly messy. Um, this gives me and my wife severe anxiety, and it's all my fault. As you can see, you know, they're stacked. The intention was to build shelves and put slats in there, and you know, prices of wood got out of control, and I just need to get to it so we can organize them and... and Put these away the way they should be so it's a mess i know it it keeps me awake it drives me insane some of you are probably twitching right now but on the cool side is we have a shrine to one of our favorite films up there wish i could figure out which one it was now another thing i don't talk about much is my seven inches my seven inch collection um some of these are cleaned and Ready to be entered into discogs. Some of them, as you can see in other boxes, not so much. So I've actually got, I don't know, three of these full or just about full. So, um, you know, I don't talk about it much and I'm probably going to really should kind of start showing some of these off. But I really do have a thing for the seven inch singles being an ex DJ. Um, just a great way to get that one song you wanted or what have you. Some, I don't know, maybe I'll start showing some of these off. So uh, definitely collect some seven inch singles as well. So here it is. The main stuff, as you can see, more seven inches. Some of these I went through. Um, they're not, none of my seven inches are really logged into this guy, which is something I'm hoping to do this year. Uh, but some of these, when I was doing, uh, some of those DJ to DJ videos with Paul Baraka P Dub, I pulled some of them out and I just haven't put them away because I really need to organize them. Skeleton that my son Oliver made. Um, but this is it. This is the the kind of where it all goes down, right? So um, obviously my equipment, nothing special. It puts out sound. So a lot of this is still spinning. Haven't shown like those two, that, some of that is all coming soon. Half of, most of that's 12 inches down there. That's some, to be spun. That's to be spun and, and shown. I mean, as you can see, I've been buying more than I'm recording. Um, some of the more recent things I've been spinning. Just picked this one up. I'm going to talk about this one in a recent, in an upcoming video. Very interesting stuff. And because of that band right there, I've been kind of going back down some, some Genesis stuff. Pulled out Quicksilver Messenger service the other day. Uh, got some stuff on the wall. See some Hendrix stuff. Uh, you guys remember Andy from Andy's Vinyl Den? He custom painted that for me. Really cool piece. And if you remember... I did a video on these uh, that um, Legendary Jim, Jim Davies, sent to me as a complete surprise and really just rocked my socks. So uh, some Beatles cars and stuff. Another really cool piece that you don't really get a chance to see that often. From my years of working in video game retail, that is an autographed card for Lego, Lego the, the Avengers. Uh, autographed by Stanley himself. So, 
And then this is kind of the main, oh, over here, this is all like, still need to be cleaned and organized and go through. I've weeded out some stuff, but this is kind of where the most of it all lives. It's all A to Z, except for when we get down here, I've got jazz, jazz and hip hop, hip hop, it spills a little bit there. And then that's all like comps and soundtracks and stuff. And then over, this is all like a, another project along with these. And I've actually got a, an idea for videos for these to kind of weed them into the collection. So as you can see, if you're curious, because you guys know, I'm a huge Hendrix guy. He starts there and goes all the way to there. And not all the Hendrix is in there. There's a couple over there. That I need to put so that collection always is growing so that's it that's my messy disorganized somewhat somewhat organized it's a work in progress I think it always is for a lot of people um, I'm sure some of you are OCD and twitching showing us off some of the things that I, I, did, I did trust me it bothers me too but um, it's time it's you know being able to clean everything uh i don't have an, an automated or a vacuum or anything so it's a very manual process for me but it's nice because then I, you know play a couple records and you know sit down and, and and work on some records for a little bit but um and i think that's what i'm doing this year so i'm trying to focus more on what i have um doesn't mean i'm not buying you know but i'm trying to buy a little less and focus more on you know enjoying what i have you know sometimes it's real easy when you get caught up in that cycle of buy listen show shelve to forget oh man i, I did buy this and kind of revisit so i've kind of forced myself if i want to play you know I play a couple of incomers or new ones and then I've, i'm forcing myself to go to the rack and, and pull something out um, I've actually been auditing my, my Discogs entries because I found stuff that I have that's not in there. Um, so, you know, that's that's a, another topic for another day. Um, but thanks for watching. And if you're watching this, it's at the zero hour because, you know, I'm late. I'm well, not really late. I'm going to be on time, but squeaking in for Robert Z's lottery. Um, but I thought it was a great way to to kind of talk about what we all feel as collectors and show off a little bit of the area and some of the stuff you see in the behind the scenes and where the magic happened. It's not where the magic happens. It's just where I play music. So anyway, neither here nor there. Um, so anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. Thanks for watching. Go check out Robert Z's channel below. Watch him in the next few days do the drawing for the lottery. Someone is going to win a lot of crap. Hopefully it could be you if you entered or if you have some quick time. So, anyway, talk to everybody later. Thanks for watching. Peace.